all right guys welcome back to another video and today i'm gonna be going through my top five favorite albums that came out in may i haven't posted in a while so i apologize for that but um i'm gonna get back on here with posting but i have three um honorable mentions that i'd like to get through the first one being model by wallows um it's a nice little indie rock album nothing crazy but if you like wallows you'll like this album um the second one i have is neon pill by cage elephant another indie rock album again if you like indie rock you'll like it if not probably not going to be your thing and the third and final honor honorable mention i have is empathogen by willow honestly i don't even know if i said that right to be honest but um i've never really been a fan of willow's work before this but this album was actually really good and it's it just barely missed my top five here it's probably my favorite out of the three honorable mentions there but anyway, getting into it here, at number 5, I have 14 Minutes by Dominic Fike. This is just a short little 8 song, um, little like album EP, I guess, from Dom Dominic Fike. Um, and as the title says, it's 14 minutes long. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's just um, like unreleased demos from his last album, Sunburn. Um, but they're all pretty good. It's actually a really solid album. I've been bumping it a lot all month here. And... Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. But at number four, I have Hit Me Hard and Soft by Billie Eilish. Um, I think people would say this would probably be higher. I've seen people saying it's pop of the year or pop album of the year. And I really liked it. I've never really liked um, Billie Eilish's music before. But this album was really good, I thought. It's just, it's not my favorite of the year or um, of even the month. And at number three, I have At A Vista by Childish Gambino. Now, obviously, this album isn't technically new. Um, but it was remastered and there was um, a couple new songs on there as well. So I'm counting it as new anyway. And I really liked it. I liked the old version as well, but it definitely did feel unfinished. And it wasn't like my favorite Childish Gambino project for sure. But um, this mastered version of it, I really liked. I've been bumping it a lot here. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited for his next album. And at number two, I have Dark Times by Ben Staples. Uh, he just recently dropped this here. Um, it was actually really good. Like, I like Ben Staples. Um, I've liked all his other work, but never really, like, loved any of his music or anything. But this album, I just listened every song. I was just enjoying it all the way through. And I got to the end of the album, and I was like, wow, it's done already. And it wasn't even, like, a short album or anything. It was just, it kept my attention really well the whole time through. And at number one, my favorite album of the month is A Dream Is All We Know by The Lemon Twigs. Um, now this album, I think the best thing I could say is if you like The Beatles, you will like this. They're kind of like a modern day Beatles. Um, not to say they're necessarily as good as The, as the Beatles, but that's kind of like the style of music you're going to get. They sound very similar to The Beatles, obviously heavily inspired. Um, but anyway, yeah, those are my top five albums of the month. So comment any albums that you've been listening to from this month that I did not put on my list. And also, I'm guessing some of you guys are probably wondering about the Tony and Pilots album, Clancy. Um, I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of Tony and Pilots. Never really have been. I gave it a listen. It wasn't bad, but yeah, just not my favorite, that's for sure. But anyway, that is all I got for today's video. So please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.